Hello tech fans, we're taking a look today at Core Photonics camera technology. Now this is a company that we saw a couple of years ago. What they're doing is trying to combine two camera units into a single smartphone component in a bid to get you better zoom when you're taking photos with your phone. So let's take a look at what's new. So if you look inside this little unit here, you can see there's actually two camera sensors. Now what's going on here is that both sensors are bringing in light from the subject that you're looking at and then using some complicated software, those are combined to try and give you a very, very clear image. The idea here is to bring you optical zoom on a smartphone with no moving parts, which is quite a claim. Previously when we saw it, it could do three times zoom, now it can do five times. We saw a little demonstration here and I have to say it was pretty impressive. So over on the left side of the screen here, you can see what's happening when just one of those sensors is zoomed in on this demonstration board here. And then on the right side, you can see what happens when both sensors are bringing their powers to bear, and it does look a lot sharper. Now we put this to the test using one of our own phones. We used an iPhone 6S Plus, and we zoomed in as well using the board. And I have to say that our test shots came out as blurry as what you can see on the left side of the screen. We weren't able to get the same zoom that both sensors can get together. Companies also found a very interesting way of bouncing light off of a prism onto the sensors of one of those cameras, which it says cuts down on the size that the actual unit needs to be. And we're also taking a look at some interesting stabilization technology. You can see this gimbal here moving, and uh, when the company turns on its stabilization software, the image on the screen becomes a lot more steady. So Core Photonics says that we can expect to see this technology in actual smartphones available to buy sometime this year. So fingers crossed, we're looking forward to giving it the full test then. For much more, check out cnet.com slash MWC.